When GPT-5 launched, everyone thought AGI had finally arrived. But when OpenAI's own CEO admitted that even this model wasn't AGI, billions of dollars worth of promises came crashing down. But here's what nobody's talking about. Why would Sam Altman spend years hyping AGI, only to call it a pointless term the moment his company releases what many considered their most advanced model yet? And more importantly, what does this reveal about the massive gap between AI marketing promises and reality? Welcome back to AI Handbook Channel, where I expose the revolutionary changes happening in artificial intelligence every single day. By the end of this video, you will understand why Sam Altman's recent contradictions about AGI revealed the biggest deception in AI history, and what this means for the future of artificial intelligence development. For two years, the tech world waited with bated breath for GPT-5. Sam Altman himself fueled these expectations, repeatedly hinting that this model would be a significant step toward AGI. The anticipation was so intense that investors poured billions into OpenAI, pushing the company's valuation to over $157 billion. When GPT-5 finally launched in August 2025, the initial reactions were mixed excitement and confusion. Yes, the model showed impressive improvements, scoring 94.6% on Amy math competitions and achieving new state-of-the-art results on several benchmarks. But something felt different about OpenAI's messaging. Instead of celebrating AGI achievement, OpenAI executives were surprisingly cautious. They emphasized that GPT-5 was not AGI and that significant capabilities were still missing. This wasn't the triumphant AGI announcement many expected, but the real shock came during benchmark testing. On Frontier Math, a test designed to measure expert-level mathematical reasoning, GPT-5 scored only 26.3%. To put this in perspective, this is far below what most experts would consider AGI-level performance. Yet Altman continued claiming AGI was just around the corner. The question that started haunting AI researchers was simple. If GPT-5 isn't AGI and it's struggling with advanced mathematics, what exactly has OpenAI been promising all these years? Before we dive deeper into this shocking revelation, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell because on this channel, we cut through the AI hype to expose what's really happening behind the scenes in artificial intelligence. Then came the bombshell that left the entire AI community speechless. In a CNBC interview just days after GPT-5's release, Sam Altman made a statement that contradicted years of his own messaging. AGI is not a super useful term. I think it's becoming a pointless term. This wasn't a casual remark. This was the CEO of the world's most valuable AI company essentially dismissing the very concept his organization was built to achieve. The same Sam Altman who had spent countless interviews, blog posts, and investor meetings talking about the imminent arrival of AGI was now calling it pointless. The timing couldn't have been more suspicious. Why would Altman choose this exact moment, right after GPT-5's release, to suddenly change his tune about AGI? Industry insiders began connecting the dots, and what they discovered was deeply troubling. Computer science expert Nick Patience from the Futurum Group didn't hold back. It drives funding and captures the public imagination, but its vague sci-fi definition often creates a fog of hype that obscures real progress. But Altman's contradictions ran even deeper than anyone initially realized. Here's where the story takes a sinister turn that most people still don't understand. Buried in OpenAI's complex partnership agreement with Microsoft lies a crucial clause that explains everything. According to industry reports, Microsoft's access to OpenAI's models fundamentally changes once OpenAI's board determines they've achieved AGI. Some interpretations suggest Microsoft could face significantly different terms or even lose preferential access. This creates a massive conflict of interest. If Altman declares AGI achieved, it could potentially disrupt one of the most lucrative partnerships in tech history. The incentive to delay or redefine AGI becomes crystal clear when billions of dollars are at stake. But there's another layer to this puzzle. 
OpenAI's own internal framework reveals they've been quietly moving the goalposts. Their five-level system places current AI at level one, with true AGI not arriving until level five, when AI can do the work of an entire organization. This convenient redefinition allows OpenAI to simultaneously claim they're making progress toward AGI while ensuring they never actually have to declare victory. It's a brilliant strategy for keeping the hype machine running indefinitely. Yet the evidence suggests Altman knows exactly how far they still are from true AGI, which makes his public predictions even more questionable. Let's examine the cold, hard numbers that expose the AGI narrative for what it really is. While GPT-5 shows impressive improvements in many areas, its performance on truly challenging cognitive tasks reveals significant limitations. The Frontier Math Benchmark, designed by leading mathematicians to test genuine reasoning ability, shows GPT-5 achieving only 26.3% accuracy, barely better than previous models. Compare this to Altman's bold claims about AGI arriving in 2025. If we're truly months away from artificial general intelligence, why is the most advanced AI system struggling with mathematical problems that a PhD student could solve? The pattern becomes even clearer when examining other benchmarks. On tasks requiring genuine novel reasoning, the kind of thinking that defines human intelligence, current AI systems still fall dramatically short. They excel at pattern matching and sophisticated autocomplete, but genuine understanding and reasoning remain elusive. Dr. Gary Marcus, a prominent AI researcher, has consistently pointed out these limitations. The gap between marketing promises and actual capabilities suggests we're not just years away from AGI, we might be fundamentally approaching the problem wrong. But perhaps the most revealing aspect of this situation is how OpenAI's own actions contradict their public messaging. While everyone focused on the AGI debate, OpenAI made a quiet but massive strategic shift that reveals their true thinking. In recent blog posts, Altman began emphasizing superintelligence rather than AGI, suggesting that the company is already looking beyond their original goal. This isn't just semantic rebranding. It's a fundamental acknowledgement that AGI as traditionally defined might not be the meaningful milestone they once claimed. OpenAI's new focus on AI agents and specialized AI systems suggests they've realized that general intelligence might be less valuable than highly capable, narrow AI. This pivot aligns with industry trends, showing that specialized AI systems often outperform generalist approaches in real-world applications. The five-level framework they've introduced serves as perfect cover for this transition. By redefining AGI as level five, requiring AI to manage entire organizations, they've effectively moved the goalposts so far that AGI becomes almost meaningless as a near-term goal. This strategic flexibility allows OpenAI to maintain investor confidence while quietly abandoning the AGI timeline that drove their initial funding rounds. It's a masterclass in managing expectations while preserving market position. So what does Sam Altman's great AGI contradiction tell us about the future of artificial intelligence? First, it reveals that even the most prominent AI leaders don't have a clear roadmap to AGI. The constantly shifting definitions and timelines suggest that AGI remains more aspiration than achievable goal. Second, it exposes the enormous gap between AI marketing and AI reality. While models like GPT-5 represent genuine progress, they're nowhere near the transformative breakthrough that AGI promises. Third, it suggests that the future of AI might look very different from the AGI narrative we've been sold. Instead of general intelligence, we're likely heading toward an ecosystem of highly specialized AI systems that excel in narrow domains. The real question isn't whether we'll achieve AGI by 2025 or 2030. The question is whether AGI, as currently conceived, is even the right goal for AI development. As Altman himself now admits, the term has become pointless. 
perhaps because the future of AI lies not in replicating human general intelligence, but in creating something entirely different. The HEI dream isn't dead, but it's certainly not what we thought it was. And that might actually be a good thing. What do you think? Is Sam Altman right that AGI has become a meaningless term? Or is this just convenient corporate repositioning? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more AI industry insights that cut through the hype to reveal what's really happening in artificial intelligence.